Today we're going to be converting the standard or the general equation of the convex section to its standard form using the completing the square technique. Now for the first problem, So the first step that we're going to do is to identify the conic section. And this one is easy because we only have one variable with an exponent of 2. So we already know that this is a parabola. And since it's a parabola, what we're going to do is to group the y together. And then we're going to transfer the other terms on the other side of the equation to perform the completing the square technique. So. This will be grouped together, and we're going to add 4x and minus 33 on both sides, leaving us with y squared plus 6y equals 4x minus 33. And from this point, we can now perform the completing the square technique so we can produce a perfect square trinomial. So for the first, for this group, we'll have y squared plus 6y plus a box. And whatever we did on this side, we're going to add it on the other side as well. So we'll add another box on the side. Now to complete the square, we know that we need to take half of 6 and we'll square it. And half of 6 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So the number that will complete the square is 9. So if we add 9 on the box, we're going to add 9 on the other side of the equation as well. So now that we have a perfect square trinomial, we can factor this out and modify the quadratic equation into y plus 3 squared equals 4x minus 33 or negative 33 plus 9 is 24. So what we can do now is modify the other side by factoring out 4 in 4x minus 24. So our new equation will be y plus 3 squared equals 4 outside, x minus 6 inside. So now we have the standard form of the parabola. Which opens to the right. And we know it's opening to the right because our square, or our exponent of 2, is with y. The information that we can generate from this equation is the vertex of the parabola, which will be at 6 and negative 3. So these are some of the things that we can um, use and answer in working out on the standard equation of a conic section. Now for problem number two, we are noticing that the exponent two is with x and with y. And when that happens, we know that this could either be an ellipse, a circle, or a hyperbola. So let's go ahead and start grouping our variable. So for number two, so we're going to be group, grouping the x's together, the y's, and we'll minus 9 on both sides. So we are now going to have x squared plus 6x plus 4y squared minus 8y equals negative 9. Now, notice that in our two groups, we'll be performing the completing the square technique for the first group and the second group. The problem with the second group is that the leading coefficient, or the leading, leading term, is still has 4 in it. So we're going to factor out 4 so we can perform the completing the square method. For number 1, or the group, first group over here, we don't need to modify it because it already has a uh, leading coefficient of 1. So this will stay as x squared plus 6x. And this will be modified into 4y squared minus 2y equals negative 9. And now we can complete the square for both the x group and the y group. So for the x group, we'll have x squared plus 6x plus a box. 
And for the second group, we'll have 4 times y squared minus 2y plus the box equals negative 9. And since we have a box on the first group, we'll add that number on this group as well. And for the second group, we'll add the number that we factored out multiplied by the number in the box. And to fill in the number in the box, for the first group, half of 6 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So this is simply 9. And on the second group, half of negative 2 is negative 1, and negative 1 squared is 1. So you have 9 on this side, and you'll add 1 on this right side as well. So now we have two perfect square trinomial. For the first group, it will be modified into x plus 3 squared, and the other group will be y minus 1 squared equal to 0 plus 4 is 4. So now we have two perfect square trinomial. So all we have to do now is to divide each term by 4. And by doing so, we'll be able to have x plus 3 squared all over 4 plus, cancel it out, and we'll end up with y minus 1 squared all over 1 equals 1. So now we have the standard form of an ellipse. And in this standard form, we can also find the center, which is at negative 3 and positive 1. So this is how we use the completing the square technique in converting the general form of the conic section to its standard form.